fresh off the box and welcome to another unboxing video. First of all, I want to thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really appreciate the support and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Just click on the subscribe button at the bottom right corner of your screen. If you see that uh, cartoon icon of myself on a box, just click on that to subscribe to my channel. So anyway, today's review will be about this figure in front of me, which is the New York Comic Con 2022 SH Figurettes Super Saiyan Brawly Exclusive Edition. And this figure is actually based on the uh, hit Dragon Ball movie, Super uh, Dragon Ball Super uh, Brawly, the movie. And uh, he appeared there. Uh, that was like pretty much the Brawly's first appearance as a as the uh, in the uh, Dragon Ball Super uh, series and that, they, that's pretty much how they introduced him and uh, now he's pretty much uh, a canon figure uh, or canon character in the Dragon Ball Super uh, uh, line and uh, this figure was uh, actually released as a New York Comic Con exclusive um, I forgot if there are any more exclusive I think for SH Figure Arts this he was the only exclusive and uh, the only way you could go, go get him at the time is if you go to New York Comic Con, but they open up pre-orders at Premium Banda USA for everyone to uh, to order. And that's pretty much the the uh, protocol right now or what's going on right now with the uh, exclusives or event exclusives with Premium Bandai. Um, they would release it at conventions first and then they would open up later for uh at a later date for the public to order also so nobody's missing out so every it's a win-win for everybody you know you don't have to be at the convention store order, but you do get him at the later date for example i ordered this last year um during uh after the convention new york comic con now uh and he just arrived this year so you do get your figure a little late but it's better late than never all right so since broly is an event exclusive uh from premium bandai he comes with the shiffer box right here. So pretty much every uh, event exclusive comes with a uh, shipper box like this. And they are, usually have the numbers. So he is number one. Um, I'm not really sure if there are other exclusives from Tamashii Nations that were released from uh, at New York Comic Con. I, I think there were, there were, but he is uh, the main uh, exclusive at that convention from Tamashii Nations. And of course, um, if you check out this packaging, comes in your typical exclusive uh, type of uh, packaging, the with the different uh, coloring of the of the figure at the main uh, at the front of the box. As you can see here, usually it's uh, uh, they have an image of the of the character um, with just the normal uh, you know image, but this one's colored green, so because of uh, Broly, so that's how they have it here. And of course, you have your text here, uh, all white text, Super Saiyan Broly exclusive edition. And uh, of course, your logo, Dragon Ball Super Broly, Toby sticker. And of course, your Tamashi Nations quality sticker there. Make sure you have that to make sure it's exclusive or, you know, it's an authentic figure and your exclusive edition uh, logo right there. Also, here on the right, we have the image of the figure. It's pretty cool. In the back, you can see the different poses that you can do with the figure. Be nice. And he comes with the FX piece for the power up. Let's see that. And of course, another image of the figure. It says Broly. The top. Thing. And of course, at the bottom too. Check that out. Super Saiyan Broly exclusive edition. So here is the side by side comparison of the first Broly that was released back in 2018 to promote the movie. Um, as you can see there, you have the uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly, uh, the movie logo right there. So, And uh, as you can see, there's a big size difference on the packaging, check it out, you know, and here on the sides too, check out. <laughs> uh, the thing with this Broly is it includes the, you know, the FX piece, the Aura FX piece. So that's me, I think that's why it's, uh, the box is bigger. But uh, I think they just, it's pretty much the same mold as the old figure, I think. And uh, that out. And see the bottom here. So I haven't really opened this yet. So I think I'm going to end up opening it to compare the figures. But uh, that's uh, how they compare. Okay, so let's unbox this thing, man. 
can't wait to just uh, get him out of the box already. Check the figure out. Usually I open it on the right side right here. Slide this out. There you go. And you have your RO effects right here. And then roll it right there and see what they have. Very cool green background right here, exclusive edition. And then of course you have your Premium Bandai USA flyer right here with all the figures or where you can order the other figures too that are coming out. And you have your instruction sheet. Make sure to look at this uh, if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Right, so let's go ahead and check out the parts and accessories that came with this figure so let's check out the effects piece our effects piece first as you can see here you have your regular uh our effects that have been released so many times already and uh this is just the first this is the very first our effects piece that they ever released or made that made they made available for sh figure arts dragon ball figures and now this is something new this is actually like a extender or uh, you know like something to increase the height of the fx piece which is like that and i think this is kind of lame i don't like it i think they could have used the new aura effects that came with super saiyan 2 goku um that was a great fx piece that was a new mode too which kind of like and it's also way bigger than this and this is the old one which wasn't i wasn't a fan of and you know adding this just to increase the height it's kind of, I don't know, kind of lame. It's all right, but I'm not a big fan of it. You know, it looks cool though. I like the color, the green and all that. So, And of course, it comes with just two extra face sculpts. Um, they look good though. Take that out. Nice hit. face sculpts. Here's the super angry one. So, And then this one too. Nice face sculpts right there. Then back. And it comes with uh, four extra hands. And that's pretty much it. No effects pieces for his uh, abilities. You know. But just comes with these hands. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so now let's compare the event exclusive to the regular version that was released back in 2018. As you can see, there's some differences in the when it comes to the parts and accessories. And uh, also the obvious thing is, the of course, the color of the figure. <laughs> Check out, you can really tell the difference. But the regular version comes with the regular uh, hair and the, uh, you know, uh, regular uh, face sculpts. You know, um, he's like powered down. You know, that's a nice looking uh, hair scope right there. And of course, here you have one that's uh, slightly powered up here too. But it's pretty much the same as the Super Saiyan uh, hair scope, just uh, black. So they different colors. And then comes to the face sculpts, um, they're pretty much the same uh, face sculpt, but just repainted. As you can see here, you have your resting one um, face sculpt right here. And it's just repainted on the new Broly without the pupils and all that. So, and uh, here you have your screaming face. And you know, so they use the screaming face right there. Get out. And of course the Super Saiyan head sculpt, which they reused. And this one is the face sculpt for that, which comes with this Super Saiyan head. So, um, just a lot. The, the event exclusive has more detail on the faces they really painted that with a lot of lining which is pretty cool and uh also here on the hands they're pretty much the same hands the event exclusive is just repainted with a darker skin tone check that out and what was included with the with the event exclusive is the electric collar that you that the uh, broly uh has around his neck um this was not a this is like a, just an extra uh, accessory. And if you watch the movie, this is this is what they use to control Broly from uh, going crazy. So, you know, um, he was treated like an animal. So I don't know if I spoiled this for you, but he has this electric collar on uh, during the movie. Now let's get to the fun part and actually check out the figure. Uh, this I'm looking forward to. There you go. Check out. Oh man, there's so much protective plastic around this thing. <laughs> So let's just remove him. Oh, there's one here for the 
skirt right here. Or if you already don't know what this is, this is actually the ear of the monster that be he befriended in the movie. And it was like cut off by Broly's father because he wasn't happy he was friends <laughs> with uh, the monster. So that this is the ear of that um, of that monster. So just a little info for you guys who haven't seen the movie, but uh, I suggest you guys, hopefully you guys already seen the movie by now. So if not, I highly suggest you that. So that's what I did before I started. I, I unboxed this thing. I watched the movie first. All right. So why is this plastic kind of hard to remove? All right. All right. Let's do it. Oh, there you go. So let's move that. All right. Came up. There you go. And one more. Uh oh, oh, there's one. Come on. And do I have to rip this plastic apart? Okay, no. I don't have to because it's going to come off like that. All right. There you go. Finally got it off. Dang. At first, I wasn't really a fan of this of the look overall look of the bro because he looked really dark in the in the images of when they first revealed this bro but um slowly kind of digging this in a bit but you know if you check it out man he's very shiny um i don't know why they had to like put all the pearl metallic pearl paint on his pants also and also on the on the skirt right here i don't know why they did that they could have just done it for the hair but uh, they had to do it. It's just probably them trying to, um, uh, it's like his role, uh, trying to match the anime where he first becomes a super saiyan, uh, when he emerges from the rubble. Um, yeah, I think that's what they're trying to do with this figure. So, uh, yeah, it looks good, man. Check that out. So the, the hair has the metallic uh, pearl paint again, just like in the previous exclusive, like they did for super saiyan. Uh, God Super Saiyan Goku that was released in uh, Comic Con uh, two years ago, New York Comic Con two years ago, and uh, hopefully you guys got that figure too. So sh armor looks uh, shiny too, looks metallic, and uh, check out this part of his uh, armor too. It has the gray tone to it. It's not black. It's a grayish, you know. So it kind of really shows that he's glowing or something. So. And uh, of course, this part of his skirt is like really shiny. Check that out. <laughs> Freaking shiny skirt. And of course, his thighs, his pants are like really shiny pearl metallic. It has the pearl metallic paint all over it. Check it out, man. And of course, with the boots. Check that out, man. Nice green color to it. And I really like the skin tone of this Broly, man. Check that out. Very nice. He has the scars and all that. Very nice detail on the face. Check that out. And the back, same thing. Man, my shoulder. I have a shoulder pads right there. Shoulder armor. So. And you can lift this up. Yeah, so it doesn't uh, hinder his uh, articulation. So you can pull up so many poses, check that out. So very shiny at the back right there. <laughs> check out the articulation of this figure. So his head can rotate, look left and right. It can look down, but uh, not much, but he, he can't even look up because the hair on the back is really hindering, you know, his head from looking up. Um, so also these are uh, shoulder armors. Oh, okay, so they're doing this. This is what they did with the, what do you got, with the turtles, turtles, or, you know, this is how they did the shoulder armor too. So I guess this is where they started it with the shoulder armor. They used it for Bowley first and then applied it for turtles. So that's how, that's why, I think that's the trend now. So check out the arms. So he has a butterfly articulation right here. I don't know, I have to play with this some more um, to like really 
And we extend his arms, check that out. And, and let's see, you can rotate his arms like that. So, very nice. And you can lift it up. So, I can move this arm too. Now, now squeaking, which is pretty good. So, just get a good hold of the par other parts so it won't move. And you can really pose them. So, so if it's your biceps, you can move it too. Check that out. And uh, his elbows, check the elbows. Oh, ugly. Check that out, man. What the heck? That doesn't look good. Come on. I've this is the first time I've seen it because I didn't open my uh, previous Broly, so that's that. And you have your wrist, you can move your wrist. Same thing here. And of course, here he has like a slight ab crunch, but I think this art. This part of the armor is like preventing him to really, you know, do lean forward. So, and you can rotate the waist a little bit. I don't know if you can take out the skirt, but uh, that's that. Lift it up. I think he can do a splits. Uh, same thing here. Not much though. So, that's that. And you can rotate the thighs here. So, Articulation there, that's pretty cool. Check that out, man. This guy is jacked. <laughs> oh, okay. And then his knees. Boom. Okay, I don't see that many gaps. You know, like the one in Reddit. So that's a good sign. The elbows were kind of sucky though. But yeah, this one. Knees are good. So I can't really rotate here, but uh, there is uh, ankle ankle joint there. So you can pivot it a little bit. This I think this is also hindering, you know, him go really fully um, bending his ankle or rotating it. But and that's that. I guess that's how much you can just you know pose him and. You have your toe joints here. Oh, there you go. It was a little tight, just need to be, because you know, he's brand new, so it's a little tight right there. So that's cool. Put that down. And I forgot to check the bottom of the boots. No detail on the bottom of the boots. That's lame. So that's that. And the ear you can really move this but you can move this the back portion up and down so that's nice so. now if you want to replace his face pretty easy just pop this off oh there you go and just take this off too. oops i don't want to damage it there you go yeah and let's get the super angry face and Pop this in like that, pretty easy. Oh. And let's check out the hair. Oh. Oh, I got it the other way. My bad, <laughs> wrong way. There you go. I was like wondering how my, why is it not going? There. Super angry Broly. You want to replace the hands just hold this arm like this and just pop this off oh comes off easily <laughs> and let's get this uh, left hand right here and look at the peg right there so that's pretty big so i think you're not, you shouldn't be worried about breaking it unless you drop it from a high you know from a high place but yeah there you go yeah that's how you replace his hands all right so now let's compare the two figures side by side as you can see here the very obvious thing that you'll notice is the paint so new york comic-con uh, event exclusive is a repaint of the 2018 broly that was based on the movie uh, it's pretty much everything's the same and similar you know um hair sculpt you know uh faces you know everything is the same pretty much but uh yeah man this but 
I think this Broly pops out even more, but you know, um, I really like this version of Broly still though, you know, so, but you can see there, man, the faces, there's a different on faces are, the detail on the faces are very different. So it's pretty cool that they added more lining on the event exclusive, as you can see there. But here it's not still not bad. There's still lining there, but you could barely see it. So also you can notice that the armor um, that he's wearing is not black. It is has the shiny gray tone. To it. It's almost like green, like a green gray, and a, it's almost charcoal. <laughs> I don't know how to describe, but it has like the tint to it, you know. But there you can see it's all black, pretty much. You know, same thing in the back. So same thing so and uh of course the the, the skirt is uh color is way different <laughs> very shiny on this one and this one has just a plain bland yellow green color to it you know not much no no details on it except for the texture you know or no uh, that line didn't add any lining to it anything like that so that's that and of course shiny pants <laughs> There's just regular purple color pants, you know, like uh, like the Hulk. Uh, that was remind me of his pants. It was like the, he has the same color pants as the Hulk. And the shoes, check that out. So, you have the shiny boots on the tips right there too. So, but everything is pretty much the same. All right, so let's do some height comparisons with the other figures uh, from the line. First, let's check the height of these figures. So this, uh, these two Broly's are actually uh, eight inches tall because of the hair. So that's uh, pretty much how tall they are. But uh, here are the two Broly's side by side. You have the newer Comic-Con at the left and the original one on the right. So they're pretty much the same height. All right, next up, we have the figures from the hit movie Dragon Ball Super Superhero. We have Gamma 1 on the left and Gamma 2 on the right. So uh, Broly appears, also appears in that movie, but uh, he only, he, it's pretty much like a cameo or something like that. But uh, anyway, uh, that's how he sizes up with these two figures. Okay, next up, we have our Earth Strongest Man uh, Krillin on the left and we have Dragon Ball Super Android 18 on the right. So yeah, that's how he scales with these two figures. Okay, so now we have uh, on the right side, we have uh, Dragon Ball Super Kefla. So as you can see there, man, uh, Broly is still just way bigger than her. And uh, yeah, uh, Kefla just has the big hair, <laughs> so. All right, now we have more figures from the Dragon Ball Superhero line. We have uh, Superhero Gohan on the left, with, uh, with the, well, pretty much it's Ultimate Gohan with all his uh, uh, upgrades <laughs> on the left. And then we have, uh, of course, superhero Piccolo on the right. So he's still pretty tall compared to these two figures. And of course we have uh, more figures from the Dragon Ball superhero line. We have uh, Son Goku on the left and uh, we have uh, Vegeta on the right. As you can see there, yeah, these figures uh, look uh, pretty good next to uh, Broly. And for our last for comparison, uh, we are comparing the uh, event exclusive Dragon Ball Super Broly to the original Broly that everybody loves. We have the SH Figure Arts uh, Dragon Ball Z Broly that was released so many years ago. And uh, his first appearance was at the Dragon Ball uh, Z Broly, the legendary Saiyan movie, which uh, one of my favorite uh, Dragon Ball Z movies of all time. And uh, this is, uh, I think this is just how Broly should look and uh, he should appear in uh, in uh, any Dragon Ball series. And uh, we still have the Dragon Ball uh, Super um, full power Broly that we can compare it to, but uh, uh, I don't have that open right now, but we do. Ha I do have my uh, uh, original Broly right here. And uh, this, guy, this figure is gigantic. <laughs> what can I say, man? So overall, I think this version of Broly is pretty decent for an event exclusive. I mean, uh, I wasn't really a big fan of the pearl metallic paint that they use. They pretty much doused it all over his uh, armor. But uh, yeah, I think there's some parts where they didn't need to apply the metallic paint. You know, but uh, I guess they really wanted to go for the 
uh, the first time that he turns uh, Super Saiyan look. Uh, and um, uh, so overall, I really like the pearl paint on the hair. I really like it shiny and looks like, uh, you know, how that's pretty much how it is when, when they turn Super Saiyan, you know, it starts to glow and that's what they're trying to go for. That's pretty nice, you know. I really like the details on the figure, just the overall look of it i mean it's dragon ball super broly you know i think i'm still a big fan of the old og broly that that thing is a beast you know that i really like that figure but uh this is not as not that bad at all you know but he is a smaller version of broly even when he turns super saiyan you know but uh this is just like part level one of this or level two i don't know what levels of a super saiyan but you know there is another version of Broly. it's full power super saiyan broly which i haven't opened yet but uh Anyway, going back to this figure, uh, yeah, uh, the paint really does look well on some parts of his armor, especially on the shoulders and on the on his body armor. That's pretty cool too. So um, also, uh, what I didn't like about this figure is that uh, you know the articulation on the ankles. Uh, it's very limited, which kind of sucks. You know, that's pretty much how the max uh, you could bend his ankles, and I, I wish you could really you bet it some more but this is like really hindering it so that's that and uh you know the the addition of the effects piece is nice but i really not a fan of the effects piece on like on this riser that you have to put it on you know even if you have him standing next to it you can barely see it i mean bro he's a big guy so you need a wider effects piece for this guy you know um for the other figures that's fine but when it comes to Broly, you need a wider one. And I, I really don't understand why they had to use the old version. And when they released the new version with the Super Saiyan 2 from San Diego Comic Con. So they could have used that one. That was a missed opportunity for them. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, other accessory, I think they could have added like a, you know, energy ball or something for him. You know, I'd rather have uh, like that than the, than the R effect, uh, effects piece. So, um, I mean, his uh, accessories are very limited on the previous version too, anyway. So, uh, I understand that. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so, overall, man, it's a decent figure. Uh, I think I prefer the old one better. But this would still be a great addition to your uh, SH figure as Dragon Ball Super Collection. And that was our review of the NYCC 2022 SH figure arts Dragon Ball Super uh, Broly the movie Super Saiyan Broly event exclusive and check this figure out there you go he actually looks better in hand compared to like the videos or you know on the photos but as you can see there the paint applications on him you know with the shiny pearl paint on him and uh, if you really put some light or have him well lit um, you can really see the shininess of the hair and it looks like even at the parts where it's uh, where he's painted uh, with the, uh, you could see the uh, pearl paint on. It looks like he has like two colors, you know, that's what the whole point of this uh, uh, new uh, paint application is. So um, you could really see the scars on his face, you know, in very nice detail uh, on this exclusive, which they pretty much do every, every time they release an event exclusive for Tamashi Nations. And, you know, you see that scar right there. Very nice detail. I think the, I think the color of his skin really makes it more, uh, makes the details pop out also. And uh, of course, uh, one thing, a couple of things that I like about this, the, of course the, well, I, I wasn't a fan of the, that they re reused the, the R effect piece, but that's a nice addition. But like I mentioned earlier, they should have just added some effects pieces with him with the forest, like for his uh, abilities, you know, so. And uh, anyway, if you want this figure right now, fortunately all figures are sold out already at uh, Premium Banda USA. It, was, it went on pre-orders last year and after New York Comic Con. And if you weren't able to pre-order that, unfortunately you have to go through the secondary market, which is pretty much like eBay, Mercari, or some Facebook groups. So um, watch out for some people who might be selling their this uh, this event exclusive. Hopefully you get them at a good price, you know. So um, anyway, I wanna thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really appreciate the support. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.